In this specific video, you're going to learn how to use the feed burner to syndicate your WordPress RSS feed. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to get your WordPress RSS feed. And as you can see, I have mine here. And all I need to do is copy this and I need to go to feedburner.com. Now, Google has acquired feedburner.com, so you can simply log into your Google account. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. When you first log in, you're going to see a list of your previous RSS feeds from FeedBurner. Now, if you've logged in, if you never used FeedBurner before, then you're not going to see anything here. It's very, very easy to set up a FeedBurner feed. All you have to do is include the WordPress RSS feed or URL here. So I'm going to paste this here and click on next. FeedBurner at this point will automatically detect your WordPress RSS feed and it'll find your RSS feed title and your feed address. Now your feed title and feed address are important so make sure you choose something that is a keyword that you want to rank on. So if it's funny business t-shirts, make sure you enter your keyword in there. Click on next. And that's it. As you can see, it says, congratulations, your feed burner feed is now live. Now you can share your feed with other people. And if I click on this, you can now see that your feed is readable. And as you begin to post more content, the feed will update automatically. After you're done with this, click on Next. And the beauty with FeedBurner is it actually keeps statistics and tracks your statistics so you can be aware of what kind of click-throughs you're getting. You can also have FeedBurner statistics track individual item views and resyndication and much more. So now you have successfully set up your FeedBurner feed. You can go back here to analyze it. And as time goes on, you will see statistics, you'll see subscribers, you can optimize it, your feed, and you can publicize it and do much more. So from this point on, you can actually go to RSS directories and submit your RSS feed and Google provides you with a lot of different services that you can integrate into. You can use PingShot, you can use email subscriptions, you can submit your feed to the social web, and much, much more.